When I moved across the country to live my dream here in New York City, one year ago, the 26th of July, 2022, I never expected any of this. This past year has been a whirlwind of experiences and events that have exceeded even my wildest expectations. So it is the 1st of August and this is the apartment in its entirety. This is what I've been living for the past year in my New York City apartment. In a few days, I'm going to start packing, but there is a lot of stuff in New York City that I haven't done yet and I need to do before I leave. I've met very special people throughout my time here in New York City, and I've made memories that will last me a lifetime. But all good things come to an end eventually, and with only two weeks left, let me tell you exactly why I'm leaving New York City while I take off my last minute New York City items from the checklist. So here we are at a picnic in Central Park. Can you believe this is the first time, only the second time I've come to Central Park? The second time? The second time I've come to Central Park. The first time for a picnic and it's so, so nice. I wish I did this earlier. <laughs> but I'm very hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. Everyone has dreams, aspirations they want to accomplish, milestones they want to hit. Whether that is getting that dream job or starting your own business or buying a home, dreams keep us going. It pushes and motivates us to continue to do what we're doing. Like Michael Phelps said, you can't put a limit on anything. The more you dream, the further you get. I've had many dreams of my own throughout my life, and I've been able to accomplish a lot of them, like becoming a software engineer at a big tech company. In fact, the life I've lived this past year was nothing short of my dream life. But there's one dream that I've had since I was five years old, a dream that I worked so, so hard for that I've never been able to achieve. I started swimming when I was three years old. My mom plopped me in the pool along with the rest of my sisters and I started to just splash around. And to an extent, I've never really stopped splashing since. Throughout the years, swimming has taken up a big chunk of my life. But it was never my biggest priority. I was always good at it, but never the best. And I know many would dream to be at the level that I am and to be able to compete in D1 athletics. But my dream was always to swim at an international swimming competition. But I was never able to make it. See, when I was 17 and 18 years old, I was 0.15 seconds away from making the European Junior Championships in 50 meter freestyle. When I was 20 years old, I was also one tenth of a second away from making the European Championships in the 50 meter backstroke. When I started swimming for Cal, my priorities shifted and I started to focus on making NCAA. And even after three years of improvement and a championship record winning relay, I was still short of making the NCAA team. So that was it for me. And after my senior year, I mentally quit. I came to terms that maybe it just wasn't for me, that I'm just simply not good enough. after all this time it's the first time I'm having one dollar pizza no longer one dollar because of well, inflation but that tastes you know pretty all right all right I can take that off the list But halfway through my year in New York City, something changed. 
a flip switch. So I've been swimming for the past 19 years of my life, spending thousands and thousands of hours waking up at inhumane times and sacrificing so much of, well, everything. So one day I had to make a choice. Either I quit now and forever live my life with the regret of what if, or I give it one last try, even if that means leaving this dream life behind. And I chose the second option. So I am leaving New York City to pursue my dream of making the Paris Olympics next summer. But this time, and for the first time ever, I am all in. This is my last shot, my last opportunity, and I am capturing it. <laughs> 